สบายดี Welcome to Asian Kitchen. Um, my name is Sai s a v a n p a t a n a Today I'm making hot pot for my family, Lao style. So what I have here, I got about 12 quart of water. I'm waiting for it fully boil before I can put any bone. I'm making a stock today for the soup. And what I have here is beef bone. I'm making beef stock, so I have bone that have meat in here, meat sticking on. And I also I have two type of bone. This one is from a beef uh, bone from an ankle, I guess. But it's not very important what part of the bone. You got from so it is any bone is good for soup. So as long as you keep it boiling for at least two hour to three hour, you should get a very good flavor come out of that. The best bone for you to have for your stock, I would say a tail or a beef rib. Those two bones are very, very good for stock, but I cannot get that. They don't have those stuff at the uh, Asian grocery store that I went to today. So I got this. There you go. Now I have to wait for it to be boiled again before I can add other ingredient in. What I have here is three pieces of palm sugar, which is this kind here. You can get any palm sugar, it's all the same. And big chunks of ginger. About six leaves of lamb leaf. I'm gonna put it all in there. Want the water get boiled, and also this the uh, Vietnamese the uh, special spice for pho. You can grab this one in any Oriental store. They got four package in here. I'm only gonna use two, cause my pot today is a medium size pot. It's number thirty two pot. I got about, like I say, 12 quart of water in there, so I'll be putting this in there in a minute. And I'm still going to put in the uh, grounded white pepper. About one tablespoon. Five tablespoon of salt, and also three tablespoon of MSG, one tablespoon of deep fried shallot, and one tablespoon of deep fried garlic. Four tablespoon of fish sauce, four tablespoon of thin soy sauce. Basically, that is all the ingredient for the broth today. So we just have to wait now for the water to be boiled. <laughs> and it is what I like to do to my ginger. I don't like to smash it, it splash everywhere. So I kind of slowly got my knife in there and crack it open a little bit. Halfway, crack it open a little bit. And now you gotta be very careful. Or you can just break it. You don't have to do it too much. Just open it up so the flavor will come out. This 
stock here you can use the same thing it's the same thing for full except for full i like to add a couple of these in there right here i would put in there about five pieces the whole house will smell like full if you add this thing too Okay, it's coming. Now that it start bubbling, I'm putting in this spike too bad. Just drop it in. And lamb leaf. One, two, three. Four, five, six. I picked this one fresh from my uh, garden. Ginger. Palm sugar. One. Oh, this one's stuck together. You don't have to worry about separating them. If you don't have palm sugar, you can use brown sugar all white sugar but i recommend prom or brown sugar better because it's more healthier for you now i need about five tablespoons of salt one two three Four, five. I'll do five for now. The reason I put five in there now because the salt that I use is not that salty. It's a pure sea salt. So if you use regular salt, it may be a little bit more salty. You might want to do four spoon, four tablespoon first. Now it's time for my fish sauce. You can use any brand. It doesn't matter as long as it's a fish sauce. One. Two. Three. Four. Also, thin soy sauce. Any brand is good. You don't have to use what I use, but I like this one. If you can find it, good for you. It's very good, actually. But all thin soy sauce, I think it's supposed to be the same. But I've been using this one for, like, long harm. Because this is what my mom used, so... Uh, three and four. MSG, one, two, three. I cook with MSG because it makes the taste, all the salt, and the everything, all the ingredients come seem to become one, and it makes the taste better. Without the MSG, honestly, it won't taste good. <laughs> People say it's not healthy, but think about it. I've been. My mom cooked with MSG since I was a little girl, so I guess I get used to it, but try it, it's good. I don't think it's bad for you anyway. I think the reason it's bad for them is they do too much. You can have a little bit of it, it's fine. And 
you fry garlic one tablespoon each and also I'm gonna put a tablespoon of white pepper ground white pepper just dump it in stir it a little bit Make sure all the ingredients going down. You see all this bubble here? You can scoop it out. That way your, your soup is clear. If you want the best soup, you have to wait at least two hours to three hours. There's no shortcut for Asian cooking. You have to wait for it fully boiled. And then in about a minute, we can turn down the heat into in between medium and high. Because you don't want it to be boiled in too high heat and then the water will be going down and you have no more soup left. Because we're going to have to do it for at least uh, two hours and a half like I say but today I'm gonna do three hours so I want to have all those beef flavor coming out well I will see you in the next video when I actually prepare all the hot pot I'll use this stock here for the hot pot tonight I can make this for my family and they love it your family will too